Hey Electron fans, Fabrizio Cross here. Hey, I've got a long trip coming up tomorrow, so I'm going to put on my AeroSock, which is a cloth aerodynamic assistance uh, feature that I've made up for the Electron. And what it is basically is it's a two-part spandex cover that will go onto the Electron and it cleans up the aerodynamics of the Electron as well as it provides me some weather protection. So uh, when the rain, this isn't waterproof, but when the rain hits the spandex, it stops on the spandex. And as the spandex isn't touching me because it's held off of me by the frame of the Electron, uh, it actually keeps me pretty warm and pretty dry. So now we're in summer now, so I'm not expecting rain. So mostly I'm gonna be enjoying the aerodynamic benefits of this. This is what the Electrum AeroSock looks like when it's not on the bike. It is a piece of uh, pretty high quality, mostly synthetic, stretchy spandex. Um, and the stretchiness is kind of important. There are some nicer materials out there. There's a waterproof neoprene-like fabric that I'm going to try sometime soon, but it's a lot more expensive. So for uh, your first time, I recommend using a less expensive uh, just spandex, it'll be great most of the time. And even though this isn't waterproof, it actually does a really good job of keeping the rain off of me. Here's the AeroSock, or here's one half of it. Here's the other half. It's a two-part unit, and uh, this is not a new concept. Uh, this has been around in the recumbent world for a long time. Some people call them body stockings. Um, that seemed a little bit of a, of a misleading definition, so I call it an aero sock. And I've made mine specifically to fit the Electrom, but of course you, if you ride a recumbent with a canopy or fairing, you could make something like this for your bike. You'd have to do your own measurements and such. But So putting on the aero sock on, sock on the Electrom is a bit of a process. And uh, one of the things I should say is that Climbing in and out of the aero sock is also a lot more of a process than just stepping onto the Electrum. Uh, in my day-to-day -day city riding, I simply just lift up the fairing, climb in, and now I'm ready to go. But when using the aero sock, as you'll see in a moment, it's a little bit more of a process to climb in and out. So for that reason, I don't use the aero sock all of the time. I just use it when I'm going on a longer trip. Uh, so tomorrow's trip is going to be about a 220 kilometer trip. Definitely using the aero sock for that. So let's go ahead and mount uh, the aero sock and you can have a look at it. It has two sides and uh, I have to figure out which side I'm working with. So this is the far side. I'll start with the near side. Here's the near side. And for mounting the aero sock on the Electrum, I start by hanging it on the mirror. Then I've got these guys that tie on at the headlight. I've attached it to the light. And now down below, I have a little hook here. And I've got a hook to hang onto the tail box. This comes down and hooks to a fixture I've got on there. And then this guy simply goes there like that. That's one side. Now let's do the other. Okay, so that's got both sides on. And there's just one last thing to do. I have a little pass through that goes underneath and pulls the bottom down tight so that when I'm riding along the highway, I get a little bit less wind flapping uh, from the lower bottom winds. So to do this guy up, simply pass this guy through here. And then on this other side, I have a Velcro fastening point. There we go, easy peasy. Okay, so now the aero sock is on. So how do we climb into it? Well, it's actually not too bad. 
unhook it from the mirrors. And that allows me to push it down. And now I can step in. And I hook it back onto the mirrors. And then the final piece, and this is actually the most awkward part, um, involves using my teeth. I've got these Velcro parts that hold the bib together. And to actually attach the, these two bits, I need a third hand, which I don't have. So I use my teeth, where, which are handy. And there we go. And then the final bit is I have a little bit of cord, elastic cord here, which helps it stay up and on the console. And that's it, I'm basically ready to go. And one of the nice things about the AeroSock as well is because it's made out of cloth, it's quite easy for me to put my feet down. They just come down through slots here. Okay, so now I'm in and I uh, say I've come to a stop and I'm ready to climb back out again. The reverse process is pretty quick. I unhook the top of the bib, undo the bib, take the AeroSock off of my mirrors, And then I can lift up the canopy and climb out. Now, you do have to be a little bit dexterous to, uh, to do some of these maneuvers. I'm in my 50s. I can still lift my leg at least up to my hips, which is good. I'd say that's kind of a bare minimum. But even if you were a little bit less encumbered, you can always push this down a little bit lower. I just don't like to stretch it out too much, so I tend not to. So there you go. That's the installation of Electro Marrow Sock. And uh, I hope that you found this video useful. And if you choose to make your own Aero Sock for your own recumbent, I hope this will be helpful. Thanks very much for watching.